Hello, welcome to Ollie's Repairs. Today we're going to be removing this. This is the vacuum reservoir, which is included on all AC cabriolets. And what its purpose is, is to keep a reservoir of vac vacuum so when you would accelerate and the vacuum of the engine decreases, this is enough to keep your vents blowing to where you adjusted them because the vents are all vacuum controlled. For this repair, you will need approximately 12 inches of 3 millimeter silicone vacuum hose, that's the inside diameter, an upgraded vacuum check valve, some pliers, and maybe even a small flathead screwdriver. Okay, first step will be to remove the vacuum reservoir. We're going to remove this little rubber strap here. Place it aside. And then we're going to tackle this vacuum system. So as you can see, you have this little T here. Carefully remove this vacuum reservoir from the T and place it aside. Next, Carefully remove some of these torn up vacuum lines. We're going to eliminate this T and move this check valve to actually inside the vehicle. Carefully twist on this vacuum hose. If it doesn't come, sometimes you need some pliers and carefully break it loose. Next, remove this check valve. This can be all thrown away. We're also going to remove this little hose here. And the last step, since we're relocating the vacuum check valve to inside, we're going to remove right here this old frail vacuum hose as well and be replacing it with a silicone one. Okay, so I have this silicone vacuum hose that I ordered off Amazon to replace some of this other stuff. First, let's cut two pieces, maybe about two and a half inches long. One piece there. Second piece. First piece carefully connect it to this check valve here. Connect the hose. And then the second piece is up for here to replace this portion. Slide it on and then connect the hose. Before we crawl under the dash, let's cut two pieces of vacuum hose and attach it to our check valve. Go underneath this knee board here. And then if we look up, this is your window regulator. And then you see the two vacuum hoses, the blue one on top, the yellow one on the bottom. We're going to disconnect the yellow hose and attach the check valve in line there. Carefully wiggle this off. We do not want to break the little plastic piece that it slides onto. I was able to wiggle it off with the small screwdriver. Now time to replace this vacuum hose and attach the check valve. The way we need to attach this check valve is so that the side where you can pull a vacuum on it is facing towards the engine, which would be this direction. And the only reason we're actually putting the check valve inside the vehicle is so that we can kind of clean up the engine bay a little bit. Okay, it's attached there and time to crawl under the dash and attach it there. And reattach it in the same spot that we removed it from. Just like that. Now we've eliminated the vacuum reservoir, taken out some additional places where, for vacuum leaks that can occur, which are notorious in these cars. So the engine bay looks better, and then with the upgraded check valve that we installed, we still have maintained the exact same performance of our vents even during acceleration. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching another episode of Ollie's Repairs. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment for more.